How's it going guys? I am doing a review for the movie Born to be Wild 3D. I know it's been out for a very good time, I think. Yes. <laughs> but I like four to five years. Five to six years ago. Um, sorry, forgot to count. 2017. Um, uh, but I, I, I have never seen this before and I was at a pawn shop and I, uh, Wow, this thing's been out for been out for like six to five years, and yet on the websites of Walmart and Best Buy, they're thirty dollars for this movie. And it's only forty one minutes, and I was at a pawn shop, but I, I was like, picked up. I was like, how much is this? And he points at the sign. Three dollars. I was going. I'll take it. Like, like, you know, like. I was speechless because I you, you can go to trade it and you find like a Blu-ray for like five, seven, six, ten dollars. Um, and the, the DVDs there at the pawn shop I was at it was like a dollar each. I was going, well, at traded you can get it for three dollars, but there they had a, they had a pretty good selection. I didn't. I was looking for the Big Bang Theory, uh, season five. Five, eight, and nine. But then I came across this. I saw, I saw three D. I saw this like, right there. I was going like, I went like, I saw it. I was going, Born to Be Wild three D. You see on the front there's a monkey and, oh no, a orangutan. My bad. And uh, elephants. And I was going, I might buy this. Excuse me, sir. How much? Three dollars. Ring me up, good sir. Oh, and it was three dollars even. There was no tax, which made me more excited. Which excited me even more. And then, like after I got off, after I got out of the store, I was like, you know what? Let me look about my phone. Best Buy. Where to be wild? Three D. Thirty dollars. I bet it's gonna be cheaper at Walmart. Thirty-one dollars and ninety-eight cents. I was like, it was on rollback. I was going, and I got this for thirty. I mean, for three dollars. I was going. And when I get home, the 3D is amazing. You can tell they use two cameras. I, I, I'm a 3D nut. I will criticize any movie that slightly dis that I do not like in 3D. Other people are like, oh, it's good. No, like, no, no. Thor, the Amazing Spider-Man one was bad. In 3D, the movie was great. The, just the 3D special effects was just terrible. When they animated it in, that was great. But whenever it's just like they. It's like flat 3D. It's like it's like flat. But you see a, a little thing, a little bit. No, this one, start up screen, boom, in your face. You got like like a a bucket of water where the elephant drinks from. Like 3D was like right there in your face. It was amazing. And through the other, in all honesty, if you got a 3D TV and you like wildlife. Where was I? Oh, it's giving my dad a gift card for his birthday. So happy birthday to him. <laughs> um, yes, 3D. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a ranch now. I'm going to turn this into a 3D ranch. It, it wasn't going to be one, but now it is. Because uh, it turned to review, now it's going to be a review and a 3D ranch. But then, titles. Mm. Okay, um, a movie. Uh, okay, I know you guys are all going to bash me, but... Um... I have a collection of 3D and I want to and I am going to show you. Pick the ones that I liked. This movie. Amazing in 3D. Star Wars The Force Awakens in 3D was tremendous. A must buy for me. A must buy. Now, when I bought this one, the Paul Express in 3D, I had it on DVD and red and blue glasses. Um, I think I still have it. Let me go get it. Found it. Okay, see, look. This is the DVD version, and inside are these. You remember these? These are the 3D glasses that we used when we were kids. <laughs> but now we have clear glasses, like these, which look cooler and sleeker on your face. Um, so I want to put this up. Another one of my personal and all-time favorites. This has to be in the top 10 for me. This one. Spongebob. The Squarepants movie. 
The SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water in 3D. This movie is <laughs> really good. Like, I was speechless when I went to the theater and saw it in 3D. The cartoon, the cartoon, like the 2D cartoon, the animation, was in 3D, and it was phenomenal. It was like, they really took their time. They really did, and it was amazing. Um, the, whenever they go into the real world, that was great. Uh, I did Frankly, it was actually better than Thor in 3D, and I have the movie, and I never seen it, and I really wish I had my money back on that one. Hang on, let me see if I can get it. This one is a big disgrace. The movie was great, the 3D was crap. I mean, sure, it, it looked alright, but in all honesty, worst 3D ever. I mean, Doctor Who looked better than that. That's funny. This actually looked better than this, and I'm not even and I'm not even exaggerating. If I remember correctly, yeah. And I yes, I I got this on Black Friday. Amazing. So another one that's it's uh, it's all right. 3D Finding Nemo in 3D. So was Finding Dory. I saw that in 3D. Didn't really care to buy it. Don't don't want to buy it. This one didn't expect that. But Toy Story 3D didn't really like that. Now, another one that was actually good, this one. I know it says 3D, but throughout a few scenes are 2D, but that's just how they shot, and which is understandable for being Nitro Circus. And some scenes are videotaped in 3D. Let's just say 3D was better than 4. I'm going to put the, I'm going to have a pile where good 3Ds, you know, I mean, all right 3Ds, and just, I don't, Hair 3D. This one, great movie. 3D was. 3D was. Alright. Wasn't the best. This one, Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing in 3D. Pixels. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. The movie was great. I love the movie. Everyone doesn't like the movie, but I love the movie. Legend. Legend of the Guardians. Owls of Gahul. Now, I picked this up at uh, Trade It for $6.99. Worth the buy. Worth the buy because my <clears throat> Owl City, <laughs> Owl City, Owls, is in this. And uh, Take to the Sky, that's that's one of the songs that it plays in there. And I love it. I got Blu-ray, 3D, and oh, look. <laughs> I think I got a digital copy of this. I could use it on my laptop. But I'm probably not. But, fantastic. Tron. Tron Legacy 3D. This one was alright. It was better than Thor by far, but some scenes were just like... This one. X-Men Days of Future Past. Very good. Very good 3D. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the 3D of it. It was fantastic. This one. The Avengers in 3D. Amazing. So was the second movie. Both plots great. I loved every. I loved it. I, I just, I just loved it. This one. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, this was awesome too, but not as good as that one. This one. This one. Uh, this one was phenomenal. By far, one of my top. Like, like, this is probably like place second place or first place on my holy crap this is amazing 3d so this one is right next to pixels and spongebob frankly I feel like it needs to be top one that's how great the 3d is that's how that's how amazing I thought this 3d was on the born to be wild 3d it was fantastic this one was it's all right this one so, pretty good, pretty good. You know, I need to have like a section of eh and like uh, all right and uh, a fantastic, pretty good, and uh, that's all right. Pretty good, it's all right, it's all right, all right. 
Eh, I just don't like you. Oh, and the one that follows up for this one is The Amazing Spider-Man. I told you about that. Oh, Jurassic Park. Pretty fantastic. Fantastic. Wait a minute. This one goes there. Didn't really pop out as much as I thought. This one was uh, pretty good. We're going to go with this one. But uh, the, but the uh, Kung Fu Panda 2 and 3. Fantastic. This one is going here. This Pirates of the Caribbean one? Right here. Uh, this one? There. This one? Here. So, in all honesty, this one from this pile oh, are the are my top ones for the best pop-out 3D. Star Wars, Polar Express, Kung Fu Panda 3, Kung Fu Panda 2, Born to be Wild, Treasure Park 3D, IMAX Deep Sea 3D, The Avengers, Pixels 3D, Wreck-It Ralph, and Spongebob. Ones that are pretty good. Alright, I don't know which one would be better. But ones that are like, yes, that, that that's actually good. I, I'd watch it again. Escape. Though these are like a definite watch again. Escape from Planet Earth. This one. I could watch. I would watch again. Wait a minute. This one needs to go over here. That one. Sorry, goosebumps. I'm rating on you on how 3D you are. Uh, str on Stranger Tides, really good. This is uh, really good. This That's really good. This is really good. That's really good. That's really good. This one's also really good. These were, uh, you know, you know, it could have been, been better. This one. Is up in here? Yeah, up is in here. Uh, this one could, you know, could, could be better, but it's actually better than Thor. <laughs> up, pretty, you know, pretty good. Uh, Tron Legacy 3D should be over there. <clears throat> that one's pretty alright. This one, you know. and my top worst 3Ds. I mean, this one has its moments of yes and no. This one has its moments of who? Why, why would you even make that in 3D? Of like, some parts are like, one or two parts are like, yes. Other parts are like, and no. No, 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 no. So, uh, that's my 3D rant. Um, I don't, I don't know how, I'm, a, I'm just a 3D nut. But these right here, over here, the ones that I chose, these are like the best ones to watch in 3D right here. You want to go back and see what they were? Just, go, you know, just go back in the video. And see what they were. But that rates all of my 3D movies that I like. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.